Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4 with me, XPUX. Previously, we, um, well, we worked our region. I'm just going to leave it at that. Ah, we got enough transit. Um, we worked the hell out of our region. Uh, we should add bus stops, just to be sure. One there, one there, one there, and one there. That should do it. Um, we we reaped the benefits of producing that high-tech industrial city, which was, um, well, growth and demand. We're sort of going to reap some of those benefits right now, too. Ah! Yeah, yeah, I'll rotate the camera, fine. Where is that? Um, now I'm all mixed up. Aha. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it looks like in this episode we're going to be able to f finish this city. Well, or, or get close to finishing this city. Derp. Um, which is good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. This city's been really good so far. It's really increased our regional population and you can see by watching this video you get a really good intro to how building once you have your regional economy set up is going to look like um there's obviously going to be differences in every city you know if you choose to go you know a different wealth build or um what have you you know, maybe you don't like mass transit. Maybe you, I don't know, maybe you want to have a city that, you know, only only has industri industry and workers or, or whatever. But um, the reality is that the high density is, just gives you much, much quicker, much speedier results. Uh, and you know what, let me see. Yeah, do it right, I guess. Mm, not entirely convinced that we need it. Yeah, I'll stay with medium density. Just thinking about, like, the fact that the other stuff didn't really grow fully makes me think that um, we're going to need to do a bit of work to coax the last little bit of commercial growth out of this city. Um, and my guess is just as a result of, I, I almost wonder if not building a university is gonna be, is gonna like limit the amount of um, commercial growth we can have, and so that's probably fairly relevant. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, and so I guess we'll have to see how that goes. But right now what I want is more sims. So I'm going to press play and I'm going to let that grow. We have some areas that don't have electricity, which I'm, I'm fine with. And our budget's kind of kind of messed, but... <laughs> I like the... Uh, the little, like... The little houses that have been built. Take a look at our demand. First, yeah, lots of residential demand. Come on, let's go. Come on, grow. grow. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. And pause now. So we still got some demand. Uh, let's take a look at our services. Okay, okay, okay. Let's place down. Um our church, our house of worship that we got. Anything else aside from the university? No. Back into profitability, man. This city makes money like it's going out of style. See if that, see if we incur any more growth. I think we probably will. Yeah, there we go. Just taking time to process that growth. And you can see we're getting the same look of buildings, which is probably just relevant to the um, the fact that we're we're getting really close to demand cap. So 
So we do need some um, low wealth commercial services, or at least that's one of the things that we have demand for. And I think if we let it just keep going, these, um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. First thing we need is a little bit more water. So we will we will build this small water pump, and make sure you connect it to the to the grid, like I said, because sometimes you'll place these down on an old pump, and they'll just feel like, oh, I don't feel like building that. We actually need more than that. Right? So water's pretty good. Uh, we could use a couple of more recycling centers. Speaking of recycling, let's go ahead and make sure that we're not storing any garbage. If it if it if we are storing garbage, it'll look like like that. Like there'll be like, you know, little yellow indicators or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down a little bit more commercial. Because it'll help us grow. And it'll power these guys. The big reason, anyway. So let's go and hit play. Grow, my Sims. Grow! And one of the things I thought about doing was shifting our all the high wealth demand that we've earned into one of the cities we've already developed and my problem with that is it seems a little bit oh that's what I was actually gonna do huh. so yeah we need more power but uh, the hospital here is probably large medical center is probably yeah it's just overwhelmed so we will go to the here there you go and play and let's take a look once this populates. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of the problem. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Ah, I'll just leave that pretty funded. Screw it. <laughs> and so we have still a little bit of demand. So we can let it grow. But we do need power. And I want to solve that issue before we do anything. Where are we getting our power from? Sunnyvale 2. So we'll do a city hop. And it's important to remember when you're using your farming communities the way I'm using them, to never hit play. Because if you hit play, all of this gorgeous high wealth stuff that you've been working your ass off for is going to go down the toilet. And they're going to build like mansions and consume it. And it's going to make you rage. Well, it might not make you rage, but it makes me rage. So, I'm just going to go ahead and assume it would make you rage. What is my cancel that deal? I still can't. I'm not 100% sure what that is about. Um, like... But maybe that's all the garbage they're producing. Anyway, we don't need to be importing from uh, this city because we don't plan on ever going back to that. I don't plan on ever going back to that city for that city for that matter. This city does need to uh, import its garbage up into Wiki's, but um, I, I can manage that later. So I'll hit play. Now we have the power. Teachers. And let me guess. It's going to be the high school, right? Now it's the elementary school. Well, that's okay. We can actually solve that. The high school on the other hand, so this high school must be feeding, yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. This high school is helping us do what we want to do. And I'm going to give it a second to grow here because sometimes education takes time to kick in. Um, and I really, really want to hit 400,000 sims. I have yet to have a city go, um, go over 350,000. Um, but I have yet to, you know, construct a city. Good stuff construct a city like this one that's only medium and low wealth sims. Usually high wealth sims come in and then kind of... at least high wealth sims... I mean I guess we could put the high wealth commercial on uh, and let that all grow but I, I don't quite want to do that. <laughs> so what do we have demand for? 
More residential, amazingly. Mm, let that grow. I may zone some new residential plats uh, somewhere where we're not used to it. We'll go ahead and we'll see what the city looks like. 350,000 sims. Let's see. Ah, we could build another police station. That is definitely something we could use. Not 100% sure if it'll do what we want it to do, but... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually build two. Because we are in need. And we have infinite money. So I could just zone this, this, and this to, you know, the that, like, um, sales commercial and just be like, cut, print, done, um, and we could move on to the next city. But I want a little bit more value squeezed out of this city. So we're just going to keep trying to um, push where we can. These little plots here are really great for, um, like, low wealth commercial services. They do a really good job of that. And uh, that's sort of where I like to use them for if I can. Let's take a look at... Look at that, almost 10,000 simoleons from uh, mass transit. So. I guess what I would say to take away from this video in terms of learning is that it's important to remember that high wealth sims won't ride mass transit, they really want to use their cars. So if you want a city to have really effective mass transit, just don't let your high wealth sims move in. Um, which will have its own adverse effects. You know, um, you probably could get away with building tiny cities with just high wealth sims in them and then exporting the jobs all around them. Um, that's something I'd have to think about and mull over and, and decide if I wanted to use that type of a plan. So it looks like our growth may have stagnated. And what I'm going to do to encourage growth in the office sector is I'm going to cut taxes a little bit. I don't want to cut taxes to the point where I can't sustain the city. So I moved down by... Uh, by just a little bit. So we'll go to seven, seven. And see if I can encourage that commercial to uh, to just pip up a little bit. I might not be able to. Nope, we're gonna have to build. Look at all the high tech jobs we need. And that just goes to show you how much, how much like we're hiding, quote unquote hiding our, our high-wealth, uh, our high-wealth sims. 352. Oh, I want 400,000 sims really badly. So you can see this airport's almost overkill. I'm hoping that, like, education will kick in and then a bit of growth will happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Mm, a little bit of growth. A little bit of C2. Oh! Do it! Do it! Get there! So a little bit of tax funding did help us out. Got a little bit more growth. Yeah, yeah, industry. Alright. God. High tech industry. Such a pain in the ass. I guess we could zone the rest of this high-tech industry uh, and also call it a day. I mean, this city has so many sims in it. Um, but, well, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and let's zone some high-tech industry here. Uh, we have, I mean, we have everything. That's not going to grow, but anyway. We have, um... We have all the residential zones that I think I'm going to zone, realistically speaking, so. So fill in the one pops with parks. I, I don't particularly feel, aside from parks and bus stops, I don't feel like um, the one slots are good for anything. I mean, you could put some like little commercial dudes there. And I mean, this guy employs 
you know, 22 people for a little one slot. That's not that bad. You know, could be worse. Now, if we hit play, I bet you that's going to grow, like... Slowly, because it's high-tech high industrial. I'm fucking high-tech industrial is such a pain in the ass. Alright. So that got us that got us a little bit more... Um, convinced a couple more sims to move in. Which I like. And you know what I'm going to do? Just to see if I can pump it up just a little, little bit more, is I'm actually going to drop the medium wealth commercial offices to 6%. And see if I can't encourage them to do a bit more growing. I guarantee you that's... Oh! Holy cremolies, our high school. Lots of students. Usually high schools are, are pretty poorly attended. Um... See how our city college is doing. C -c 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 college, where are you? There he is. Uh, doing fine. How are you doing? Good. Come on, go. These are sweet. Well, I can tell you we've almost ex almost completely... <laughs> wow, that's a lot of students. Is that in our new... Oh no, that's this area. What are these guys doing? So we probably need to do the same thing where we need to put down a big school like that, but yeah, you know what, oh, education, oh, we got a little brown corner, it's amazing how little we've zoned for residential and how many freaking sims we have, a part of me wants to experiment with um, zoning some more residential, so we might do that this episode, let's go like, uh, let's see, I wonder if I have enough services to zone like two plots of residential there. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do a, do a test. I, I'm just going to dezone this area and we'll put in some high density res. And we'll see if it'll grow. The only wealth of uh, residential we have is low wealth, but I have a feeling that. Um, that I can coax a little bit of growth out of there. I build, uh, I build residential and then the demand for medium density residential goes up. What the hell? Yeah, that, that might just be like that. Do we make 10k? Yeah, 11k on our transport department. Sun City is confused. Man, that's retarded. So we could probably keep going. Um, I have enough Obviously, I have enough of the right jobs to keep this demand going. Which educators? Okay. Hold, 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 hold everything. Alright, so educators at this school. Yeah, that's not going to have made that any better. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I will do. Yeah, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Build a new elementary. Just get them to shut up. Right there. 
And that'll help me cover some cross zones. Come on. Come on, popular. Alright. I am I am confused. Lots of demand for businesses. I'm hoping some of these zones will start to grow as well. Healthcare workers, where? Yeah, you're over servicing by like way too much. Just so you know. Ooh, big building. High school doing good. See. Still have some residential, so you know what I'm gonna do? If you guessed zone this for residential, you are correct. What I wanna do is reach Oh we got there! Sweet! Man, that's a lot of sims. This is like <laughs> almost our, our whole regional population squished into a medium-sized plot. It's just freaking awesome. Oh, stretch. Yeah, well, I have a feeling we're just going to have to deal with it. Let's see. You. Span. Wow, ouch. This is where you need, seriously, this is where you need the bigger hospitals that you can download. Um, because, like, it's just impossible to... To deal with the, the volume of people in a city like this. However, I think the time for... I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the demand exhaust itself. And... And say, pause. And now, I think, yeah... I think that's probably enough for this place. So let's save and exit and do a little overview of our uh, do a little overview of what we've accomplished here. So we're up to a regional population of 694,519 sims, which is really really good for um, for nine plots. I mean, we could obviously do better since we could come in and remove and you know, rebuild up and, and continue to uh, continue to expand inwards, but probably what we're going to do is expand outwards into these areas here. I think probably one of my goals will be to fill like, well, we'll see. I don't want to say anything yet because I don't know, but um, we could probably finish up the LC, which we'll probably do, eh, um, well, hmm. We're probably going to need a, another version of the LC, to be honest. And I should probably go in and delete that quarter. And, but what I'm curious is I'm curious to see if there's any demand for the um, the lower wealth industrial positions. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit play. We're going to let it run and we're going to hit pause. <laughs> Big manufacturing demand, which is good. Um, that huge manufacturing demand is something we can do to encourage growth back in uh, back in Ricky's if we wanted to. And we can take a look at what we accomplished. We have 153,664 um, commercial jobs, 5,000 uh, high-tech industrial jobs, and 406,000 sims. Now, I'm not sure if I should start a new city or if you guys would like me to keep trying to grow Ricky's and to keep trying to increase, um, you know, the... the 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 population in that city that's a lot that's the biggest city i've ever built in sim city by far i don't have a single i think my closest one is three hundred and fifty thousand. um and so with that being said um i can fill i can fill, fill up the dirty burger in an optional video uh that's pretty pretty straightforward because there's so much manufacturing demand there, I just have to go and zone it. Um, we'll probably get to a million sims in 
our next city that we build, which will be a high wealth city. Um, I'm not 100% sure where to build it. None of these spaces have particularly good borders. Probably here, because there's a whole bunch of high tech jobs, or here, it's a bunch of high tech jobs. But um, I mean, I guess, I guess we'll have to see. Um, but since Ricky's is essentially finished, uh, I could work on it more for sure um, to sort of, you know, increase the wealth of all the Sims living there and, and, you know, by doing that, increase the demands regionally for uh, high wealth areas. But I'm not 100% sure if I like that or not. So um, with that, um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Let's Play SimCity 4 with me, XPUX, and I hope you join me next time. See you later.